I've been doing weekly reviews in Obsidian for about two years now, and I thought it might be interesting to let you guys ride along while I actually review this past week. I think you'll learn a lot about how I actually do this, and we'll also get an opportunity to check out the two plugins that I wrote for Obsidian, one, weekly review, and two, reflection. So let's check it out. So this is my actual weekly review. Today is October 1st of 2023, and we're gonna review the past week. And so at the beginning of the week, I set out three goals. I wanted to uh, record a reflection promo or a new fee unboxing. This might serve as the reflection promo. I wanted to write 10 remarkable lessons and I wanted to get a contract signed for a course that's coming up. And then I go through my accomplishments, highs, lows, what I should start doing, what I should stop doing, and what I should continue doing. And so at the beginning of each week, here, I guess I'll actually show you how that works. So at the beginning of each week, I start with a blank template where I set those goals. And then at the end of the week, I fill out these six prompts. I really just do these first three. And if anything jumps out at me around what I should start, stop, or continue doing, then I'll put those in. But it's really these top three that I do reliably. So let's go through and do it. So this was this week. We're gonna go ahead and what I'll do is I'll create a second pane. So for me, that's command option two to have two panes. I can do three to get three panes and so on and so forth. And then if I hit command shift P, that'll bring up the command palette and then I can go to weekly review and say start weekly review. And this uses the plugin that I wrote for Obsidian that will look at the last X number of days and open all of the files that you've created in that time frame. By default, it's a week because I think most people should do this weekly, but if you want it to be something else, you can change it here. So let's go through these. Again, it's gonna be everything that I've created in the last week. So one of the things I did was I wrote, as part of preparation for the e-ink round table, I wrote up a prompt for which e-ink device would I buy. And so these were my thoughts. And again, I, I talked through that on that stream. You should go check it out if you haven't already. And so I ended up making a blog post out of this and you can see that on brandonkboswell.com. So if I were to open up a browser and then go to slash blog, that would be one of the two things here. And so you can see that these things look very similar because they're indeed the same document. So those actually get published directly from there. So I would say that's an accomplishment. So one of my accomplishments was I wrote two blog posts, which e-ink device would I buy and which e-ink device would I not buy? And those both came from this prompt from the e-ink round table. All right, this is the document for the week. We don't need that. I just talked about which e-ink device I would not buy. And then now we're getting into our daily notes. So these are notes that I start with at the beginning of each day. I set three things that I'm grateful for, and then one daily highlight that if I accomplished, we would consider today a success. And then as the day goes on, I add any notes that I think are interesting or notable. So this past week was Charlie's birthday, and so we did a really great birthday party for her. So that would be a high. And actually, let's just copy it straight from here. And then I'll just jump back over here. Really appreciate Josh Medeski helping me out with Neovim. I had a great time with the e Ink round table. I guess that's another accomplishment. Big thank you, Kit and Voya, for joining for that. All right, I'm really enjoying the new fee. You should see a video on that soon. Really like it. Had my first work day with Neovim. That was kind of cool. Also kind of painful. Yeah, largely went well. Also switched over to Wes term. This week was really kind of thrown off by the switch to Neovim. Learned a lot, uh, but plenty of struggle along the way. But again, lots of learning with Tmux, Neovim. Maybe lows and struggles are being overwhelmed, the amount to learn. All right, I guess the other piece to this is Reflection. So Reflection's a plugin that I wrote for Obsidian that allows you to see this day or this week or this month, depending on what type of note it is, from previous years. So in this case, I wrote a note two years ago about how wonderful the team at Dorsada is, that, we, that Bryson and I got to champ level in Rocket League, and then I had two daily highlights um, from them. So this is cool. The whole intention behind the Reflection plugin is to stumble upon those past notes and to be able to revisit well, where was I a year ago? Where was I two years ago, three years ago? And am I progressing? In some ways, yes. And in some ways I'm in similar cycles. So it's really nice for affirming the things that you wanna be doing and a gentle reminder for the things that you wanna get out of the habit of. These are some people notes. This was a course marketing document I wrote up for the Remarkable Made Simple course, weekly prep. Let's go take a look at that. All of your time is planned. You leave no room for serendipity and spontaneity. Yeah, 
agree with that. These are some quirks with the Remarkable that I'm going to talk about in my upcoming course. More notes from the upcoming Remarkable course. And a bunch of notes for the upcoming Remarkable course. I already kind of put that in there. I am thankful for the joy of learning. I would call that a high from this past week. Did get some courses written and had to take Charlie to the doctor. All right, so here's another reflection from a year ago. Had tennis time with Marshy and she's getting a lot better very quickly. Got good sleep in the hotel that I was staying in, which was at Catawba. Had some kind comments from you folks on YouTube, thank you. And I was writing a script for my Remarkable 2 review and I got the dialogue recorded for that. In Crown Table, I wrote up some notes on that. There's a bunch of references to that in previous notes. Here's another reflection. Charlie and I finished Pokemon Shield last year, or we're almost done with it. We do end up finishing it. And then, yeah, that's Charlie's doctor. This is another note from the upcoming Remarkable course. Another note from the upcoming Remarkable course. Virginia Eye Institute helped us with Charlie's eye. She's fine, don't worry. Again, thanks to Josh Medeski for helping with Neovim. Yeah, one of my accomplishments was getting back into coding. I had a wonderful lunch with Charlie the day that I took her to the doctor. Really thankful to Virginia Eye Institute for getting Charlie in. I don't know why sometimes these are indented correctly and sometimes they're not. Party animals. Yes, this was fun. Let's put that there. Did morning yoga. Yep. Oh yeah, yeah. Accomplishments. I did morning yoga three times this week. Oh, I learned a bunch about grep, which I knew about grep, but I never really knew how to use it well. And so I learned a lot there. Figured out why lazy git wasn't working correctly. Hat tip to Josh Medeski on that one as well. Yeah. Thank you to Marshy for helping us not get COVID before a big friend's wedding. It's getting better at Rocket League by playing with my cousin. He's getting better too. I got a workout in and I was happy with the Remarkable 2 footage. I helped Karen with her HIPAA compliance. Two years ago, I was really excited about learning about window management. I still think window management's pretty awesome. Got good feedback on something, grateful for the ability to exercise, filmed a video on, on marking up things on the iPad, and I washed my mouse pad. <laughs> I learned that Life Alert doesn't have an API. Fun random learnings. All right, what else do we have? Another lesson from the upcoming Remarkable course. Another lesson. Oh, learned how to search for files on the terminal. I think I wrote that up in here. Is that already in here? Yeah, cool. I'm thankful that Charlie's eye is getting better. So one of the things you'll see here is if I'm doing good daily notes, I don't necessarily have to rewrite a ton about them unless I have some additional insight um, after reflecting on it. Felt like I was making progress with Neo them. Learned about them quick fix lists. Thank you to Andrew Quarter for that. Sorry, I hope I didn't mess up your name. Let's make a note about that. Yes, go check out Andrew's channel if you haven't already. Oh, and I checked out Josh's uh, Team Up Session Manager, which is really good. Really, really like it. Gives me a lot of what I liked about Sublime's project management, where you can switch between projects easily. You can do that with Team Up Session Manager. And then last year, I saw Landmarks, Miss May I, and Currents at the Canal Club with my cousin. It was excellent. And Shared a bottle of wine with my wife. We watched TikTok videos and I heard back from Voya and Kit about doing the first e ink roundtable almost a year ago exactly. Two years ago, I was grateful for sleep and a fun evening with mom yesterday, question mark. So what I meant there. And I was thankful for great neighbors. I recorded and edited a YouTube video and I got some valuable learnings. All right, what else do we have? All my references to any of them, a remarkable lesson. Another remarkable lesson, a remarkable lesson. You get the picture. This week was a lot of working on my remarkable course. I snipped this from the Metamuse podcast, which I'm not gonna check out right now. And then I started this document for the upcoming week. So that's at a high level. Again, this one was a little bit lightweight because most of the week was tied up with the remarkable course and learning Neovim. But this represents, I wouldn't call this a typical week, but this is about what I do as part of my weekly review. Okay. What should I start doing? Let me think about that. I got a good tip from Ali Abdal, which is record the intros for your YouTube videos at the end. 
and this point know exactly what the video is. Well, that was a really good tip. What should I stop doing? Um, if Sorry, I do sometimes accidentally refer to myself in the third person and it is what it is. This week was a lot of NeoVim learning and I think this is just the early curve of trying to figure out how that's gonna go. If that doesn't slow down at some point, I'm gonna have to force it to slow down because it can definitely be a major distraction. I think what I'm doing right now is I'm doing that at the end of the day in my low energy time and I'm excited about it so I can still do it in my low energy time. But I, what I wanna be careful about is having that leak into my high energy time when I really need to be working on this remarkable course. So I should continue writing two remarkable lessons each day. That's going really well. All right, so let's start the upcoming week. Um, I need to release a video. Um, I want to write 10 more remarkable lessons. Um, I need to send my iPhone 13 mini in since I got a new iPhone 15 Pro. And that's the week. So let's look at last year. Last year, my goals were to finish the B-roll for the Remarkable 2 video, to get in a stretching session, to have fun at Gary and Amber's wedding. And yeah, I think these are three more goals. Yeah, this is good. I need to start on my talk. I'm doing an upcoming talk on design principles for JavaScript developers at the RVA JS conference here in Richmond. I need to start on that. So, um, yeah, we're gonna need to do that. Um, this is more goals than I would like to have. I need, I need to do all these things. So we we'll just have to make room for it. So that's how I do a typical weekly review. Hopefully it was helpful and you picked up a couple of tips along the way. Um, do check out the weekly review plugin and the reflection plugins for Obsidian if you're an Obsidian user. And I'd love to hear from you of anything that surprised you about how I did weekly review or any tips that you find that are really helpful to you when you do something similar, let me know down below. If you got it this far, hope you got something out of this video. If you haven't already, please give the video a like and subscribe for more content like this in the future. And until next time, I'll see you in the next video.